Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about guaranteed team of season SBCs today because EA was messing with us earlier on Monday, yesterday, when we got the pack code for this SBC or these SBCs early in the day and they didn't release them on that, on that day. Usually when we see stuff in the pack code, it comes out the day after or that next day, like that comes out in the night before and it comes out at 6 p.m. on that same day. Uh, but that did not happen. That did not happen today on Monday in FIFA. So my thought is, could it actually be coming on Tuesday? So I want to talk about that. Kind of like EA pulled a fast one on us today, boys, is what they really did. They kind of just pulled a fast one on us uh, by putting both of these packs in the code, a community team of the season and also a, um, I'm pretty sure there was a code in here as well. From Footwatch, that was the um, a guaranteed EFL TOTS player. Yeah, so a guaranteed EFL TOTS player. They did a four common players pack uh, and an 82 plus pack. And we only got one of these SBCs today. We got the 82 to 88 upgrade and we got the 82 plus double upgrade. So those both came out today. Uh, but we did not see the guaranteed team of the season that everybody was thinking about and everybody wanted to see. Now we have these community TOTS challenges that give us packs this one today with a small rare gold players pack i did not see what this spc requires but that's actually a pretty solid pack uh wow you need six gold players that's it so that's actually a nice spc i know it's untradeable um but these are the other two upgrades that we got today and this one to me is a <laughs> this one's a scam to me bro you're turning in an 82 rated squad to then get two 82 plus rated players now ea is thinking okay we're gonna drop this sbc beside it because what you can do with this is clear out your club and put in all of your this requires seven golds i think and then the rest can be whatever else you want yeah seven golds and 45 chemistry is all you need for this uh but this is the reason why ea does this is they're trying to clear out your club of the lower tier stuff and maybe of some of the, the 82 and lower stuff. They're trying to just clear out clubs, get you to submit things so that you can't do SBCs easier down the line. They're probably going to drop another one of these tomorrow, um, you know, because we have one expiring. But a lot of times what we've seen, the 82 to 88 upgrade especially, and usually another type of upgrade SBC comes along with the 82 to 88, multiple times in the past, and I think this was more of a FIFA 19 thing, but multiple times in the past when we saw that upgrade come onto the game, what actually happened was uh, soon after that, EA would drop the some sort of an icon SBC, like an icon upgrade, either the baby icon or the mid icon. So I'm not saying that that is for sure coming, uh, but it is in the code and I would heavily expect EA to be dropping more repeatable SBCs, especially before this weekend with what we think could be Premier League team of the season. So if you see an Icon SBC this week, don't be surprised because that 82 to 88 is usually out at some point when we have uh, Icon upgrade SBCs because, you know, EA thinks that, hey, you know, uh, we're going to put this SBC out to make it seem like we're helping people. Uh, possibly do that SBC, but to be honest, if you're doing the 82 to 88 upgrade, uh, you're getting a lot of 82s, 83s, maybe a couple 84s. Technically, you can get TOTS cards from this, and I saw some people pack Team of Seasons from the 82 plus upgrade. If you want to give it a shot, the best way to do it is probably um, put in all like seven gold players, right? Use non rare golds and non rare bronzes to complete this squad here. Maybe you rinse your club if you if you want to do that and you you know that you're going to be a bit behind for other SBCs. You could do that. Put all of your cards into that that are in the club. And then for the ones that you get 82s, 83s, you could chuck them into this 82 double upgrade. Maybe have a chance of getting a few team of the seasons. But this is the big disappointing thing from today is just these aren't the upgrade SBCs that we want. These aren't the upgrade SBCs that we want. That I mean, even the fact that, that they put the guaranteed team of the season SBC in the code and didn't release it today. It's just kind of like a kick in the nuts is honestly what it is from EA. It's kind of like a kick in the nuts. They're just saying, hey, uh, we're, we're going to give this to you, but then, oh, it's not coming today. Like usually when they put stuff in the code, it does. So again, the upgrades packs, that whole thing with team of the season so far has been a massive letdown based on the um, guaranteed 
are not the guaranteed, but the premium league upgrade SBCs are supposedly only going to be available for 24 hours at the end of each week during a main league being out in the promo. And that's just, that just sucks as well. But um, hopefully they can get that changed. I would love to see at least like the 81 plus double upgrade. Like, come on, EA, put that out at least. I would rip some of those because those are easy to make easy to do and they're a you know a decent value i'm not turning in an 82 rated squad to get two more 82s from an 82 plus upgrade pack i'm literally i'm just not going to do it so uh that's a little bit of my frustration i guess today with ea sports but there were some market movements uh as you would expect because of this code coming out today on fifa a lot of you guys maybe bought into this or you saw the market rise up and down because of it last night before the code was released we had the 80 index 86 Chilling down here at 139 points. This is what happens every time when a guaranteed SBC is put in the code. People go out and they spam by 86 rated, 87s, 88s. Uh, and then I think this might have happened to the 85s and 84s as well. But all these cards boomed up. They kind of trickled down into the content drop time. Content dropped uh, right around here. And everybody started selling, man. Everybody started selling and it kind of tailed off into the night. Now it's back up a little bit. I wonder if people saw that a lot of it just got low because people bought to invest. They ended up selling for a little bit of a loss. And, you know, it's very possible that we could see one of those guaranteed SPCs today. And if you guys have high rated fodder, this might be a time where you do kind of go and cash it out. Let me look at the index 85 as well. Um, and, you know, the thing that I was thinking about today is if EA drops the guaranteed EFL and the guaranteed uh community on the same day that would be the exact opposite of what they want to do with this market because so many people have purchased and invested in sbc fodder cards anywhere from 83 84 all the way up to like 87 89 rated the entire market if they released an efl team of season guarantee which would probably be like an 83 rated squad or an 84 rated squad and then a community team of season guarantee could possibly be an 86 rated squad depending on what they want to do with that that's going to cause most of the fodder market to rise and it's going to make more people coins on this game than it would if they released them separately. So I do still think we're going to get separate SBCs, but again, a lot of this fodder is infl inflated. And if you look at the individual prices, it's very obvious to see 85s are at eight and a half to nine K all the 86s are at 19. Even the 84s are at two and a half. So that tells me that the 84 market is inflated as well. Because usually you see a lot of those in the 1,000 coin range. Yeah, 130 points up to 151, down to 142, and we're still kind of chilling at 142. So can you invest in this stuff? You know, if you want to do the SBC and you don't have anything in your club, which is kind of my scenario, I might be buying a couple cards because I literally have a dry club right now. I wish I didn't. I wish there were upgrade packs out that I could do. Um, I might do a few of the 82 to 80 plus just to see or the 82 to 88 and then dump them in the 82 plus. I might grind that a bit just to see what happens. Um, but I might have to buy a few cards because if the SBC does come out, I do want to get a few of those before uh, stuff skyrockets. And again, if they drop both SBCs on the same day, that would be crazy if they did that. I, I don't think that would really work well for them. That wouldn't work well for what they're trying to achieve with this game and trying to you know take coins out of people's clubs by doing this um but i guess it is possible i think we'll get the community if we're getting any sbc today which i think it's very possible that we'll get a team of the season guaranteed sbc today on tuesday since they didn't drop it yesterday on monday i feel like it's going to come today because that would coincide with their schedule from last year of dropping them on sundays and tuesdays and what they maybe didn't drop the uh efl guaranteed sbc on last sunday could have been because of the uh the fact that these team of the season efl cards are in packs for another week these guys are in packs until monday which a lot of their prices dropped again and they stayed low and we'll talk about that at the end of the video tonight but um a lot of the, these cards are going to be in packs through the weekend so what they might do is drop the guaranteed community team of the season today on tuesday then the guaranteed efl might end up being on sunday of this next week and then whatever league comes in with the premier league on friday that guaranteed sbc would be the next sunday after that so do you kind of understand where that could go that's just my feeling uh that they might kind of lag those behind because again the reason why they're putting in these efl tots cards into packs 
uh, for another three days extra is definitely because they want to supply them on the market and hopefully make them rise less as they require them for more SBCs. Because I would expect more player SBCs to come out. We've gotten a Goretzka, we've gotten an Icardi, a Watkins, uh, and two of the guys that we've gotten in the last couple days have been because of the uh, the Corona um, charity, uh, whatever it's, it's called, the community challenges, I think, based on players that have you know contributed back to the community. Um, so I don't know if we'll see any more of those soon. I feel like we're due for a flashback, though. Uh, Nuri Sahin goes away today. I feel like we might be due a flashback SPC today. It might be a good Tuesday on foot. We'll see. Uh, but Monday was definitely a bit of a letdown with just SBCs that a lot of us, at least I can say, I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments, but I was not super interested with these SBCs from today. So, But since we didn't get tradable pack supply, and this is something that you guys can learn uh, from watching the SBCs that come out on the market and just knowing the state of the current prices on the market, uh, since I saw no tradable SBC supply today, coming onto the market, no pack supply. These cards were not getting packs from, you know, SBCs. Um, that told me that I thought a lot of these guys were gonna rise up a little bit. Some of them did. Uh, it was only the really hyped up ones. Julian Brandt, it says he's 191 right now, but he rose a little bit today. Uh, he was in the 180s during squad battle rewards and you can, t and you can tell that he just kind of crawled up all day and he, he did reach about 200,000 coins, which is what he just was according to Footbin. Um, I bought a couple of these last, uh, I bought a couple of these actually on announcement right here. Um, when there was no pack supply that was, that was released today, I bought a couple Brants and I bought a couple Moses Simons and the Moses Simon is the one that actually made me some coins today. That's not Simon. That's bent on core, but this card today was at 275, uh, upon announcement, uh, in the morning. Yeah, he was like 275. This is where I kind of got him right here. He was still 275 at right around 6 p.m. UK. I bought three or four of them, and uh, I sold one of them for 300,000 coins. So I made a little bit of money there. I, I just bought those cards as a quick flip because I knew if there was any card that was going to rise in the hype because of a untradeable supply, that was going to be it. I thought we were going to see more panic, to be honest, man. I thought we were going to see more panic in the morning because of that guaranteed SBC. In the code but there wasn't that much panic which really interested me a lot of these guys just dropped because of the squad battle supply and they didn't um they didn't get even panic sold further because of the the code of the guaranteed team of season community sbc that was supposedly going to come out on monday so if the sbc does come out today on tuesday if you see more panic selling in the morning that would tell me that hey maybe somebody has an inside hint or a leak that that sbc is actually coming so keep an eye out for that um, and that, again, I told a lot of you guys that when we see the guaranteed TOTS SBC, that's going to be our buy time for a lot of these cards. So again, put a price in mind. Um, if you see some panic, if you see, you know, five to 10% drops, which is, I think the most that you might see on these types of cards. And remember which ones are hyped up too. This Brent card has gotten multiple, very positive reviews in the last couple of days. He was 185 again last night. He's jumped up to 200 K. A lot of people think this guy is underpriced. I haven't used him, but he, he looks really good. Um, just from some of these, again, of course, Moses Simon, right? Moses Simon is really, really, really hyped up. A lot of people like this card uh, for his stats. I still think he's overpriced. I think he's more accurately priced on the uh, Xbox. I think on Xbox, he's like 180K. That's way more uh, realistic for me than uh, 300K over here in the PlayStation. So, if you see panic selling on these cards headed into the morning on Tuesday, I think you might see more of a sell off on the market. Other stuff you guys can be doing right now on this game. Um, you, you see, look at my transfer list right now. I flipped a couple cards today, not really much. Again, it's more chem style trading. This Casemiro I bought for 128,000 coins with a shadow, sold it for 149. This Dembele I bought at 97, sold at 110. This Mukiele had a shadow on it. I bought it for 317, sold for 347. That was actually a really nice profit right there. Fernandinho I bought for 222 maybe? 220 lows last night on a snipe. Uh, these two were break even. Uh, the Tiago, I think I had that with a shadow or a hunter. And I got that at 127. And then the PK got at 232. So small profits, but hey, that's what you can be doing right now. Look at out of pack stuff as well. I'm really, really eyeing in on some of the out of packs Premier League 
uh, special cards on the lower tier. And again, I talked about this a little bit on my video yesterday that I think some of these guys are still, they're still kind of hanging around their price for the weekend league. The weekend league sell off like this Mara is at in the 260s uh, is wow, 255. You know what? I'm going to snag that right there. With a hunter at 259, I'm gonna leave these guys there for maybe a couple more undercuts. But 255 for Mares is is very low. I think Mares might get a Tots card. It's gonna be a really really juiced up card. And since the shapeshifters are really rare, and since this one's a position change, I like cards like this during this time frame of where we're headed into team of the season. Um, and I like the lower tier cards. Again, you could maybe start to sink some of your coins in those uh, this week if you want to do something. Uh, and maybe invest a little bit. I would say be a little bit careful with who you buy. Don't buy a ton. Since prices haven't risen up, that's just telling me there's not a lot of hype. Maybe people are doing icon swaps or the Laporte objective at the moment. But I think these lower tier out of pack specials that are going to get team of the seasons um, are going to be a bit of a play this week. And you can tell that's what I've been watching. This card today dropped a bunch, man. This guy has been like 320 or 330 uh, last weekend. Before team of the season, most consistent in the tots panic, uh, got to like 315 or 16k multiple times today. I've seen him hit 300,000 coins, which is very cheap. This sun going on an open bid of 550 is crazy, and there's another bid at 580, man. So you look 576 by now with a 580 bid. It's all about timing for a lot of these cards. This guy's been 550 to 600 all day. You could probably flip him if you wanted to. It's a sun, right? Sun is a very popular card in this game. You can still trade in this market. Uh, I showed you guys on Sunday night during the weekend league sell-off. I bought a nine goal and, uh, headliner card for 355 and I sold it for 380 literally two hours later just on a normal fluctuation. There's another one at 355 uh, right here, but I can tell that I don't think I would try to flip them at 355 unless you had a shadow. Because look how many are back here under 380 with the shadows. So you kind of have to adjust your prices and look at what's on the market. But I might take an eye, you know what? Take a look at this nine goal in a 335. Maybe if I could snag that at like 340 or something, uh, I could relist that, make some profit around like the 370 range. So there definitely is, uh, a room and a possibility for you guys to get deals on the market. And again, think about what people are doing right now in foot. They're probably doing the Laporte objective. So maybe you have guys like left back dig uh, or other cards that would hard link to the Laporte might have a little bit of extra hype right now. Cause Oh wow, man, this card is up, bro. Are you kidding me? Lucas Digne is 150,000 coins right now for real. This guy was like 110 K on the weekend, man. This is purely because of Laporte. There's no other explanation because of it. Yeah, man, look at this. Sunday night even, man. This guy on Sunday, 120, right? 116 on Sunday night. Yesterday, uh, all day he has risen, except for the middle day, 119. I don't know exactly why he's super high right now, but the man's like 150K. If you see this guy back down in like the one, you know, the 120s again, I would say, uh, this is definitely a card that's going to stay high because of the links to Laporte. So this is the kind of card that a lot of people are going to be buying this week. Take a look out for him. Maybe his other lower tier informs and other French links that you could get to that Laporte card. Cause I think a lot of people are going to end up doing this. There's not much else to do right now in the midweek and foot. And uh, yeah, yeah. Laporte right here. I think a lot of people are doing this card cause it's a premier league French center back and they think it's a decent card, but wait until uh, wait until we get more team this season. We're going to get way better center backs than that, in my opinion. I think that card is just okay um, for a Prem center back. Again, not a lot of Prem center backs actually on this market available to be bought on the market. So that's something to be said for itself. If you see panic selling on Prem center backs, uh, I think you could maybe pick up into some of that because I don't know how many there's still going to be after team of the season. I don't feel like we're going to get a lot for team this season. But speaking of Prem Tots, which should be coming this Friday, I'm going to have a prediction video out very soon talking about that uh, because I want to get you guys ready and talk about a few things and what some cards could cause depending on who we actually get in the Premier League team of the season. So look out for that video coming soon. But if you enjoyed today's video and you're hoping for a guaranteed Tots SBC coming today, smash the thumbs up button, comment down below if you have questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.